Well, the holiday season is fast approaching, and if you're not bringing a dish, you should definitely show up with a bottle of wine. I have with me here my good friend Ian. Hey. Hey, how are you? <laughs> and Ian is a sommelier. That's right. <laughs> so he's going to share with us some of his tips for buying a great bottle for the holiday season. So, uh, as Mariana said, we are going to talk about all sorts of wines for you to bring in to kind of, you know, the holidays are coming, you're going to holiday parties, everybody wants to come in with something, right? Um, but we're going to give you a couple of different price points too, because so that way you don't necessarily have to break the bank and right. also give you highlight a little bit more of the right. kind of higher end gifts for your, your, right. for your, for your good, good, good friends. <laughs> um, specialty. The specialty, yeah. Okay. So um, we'll start here with the um, Prosecco. So sparkling for the holidays is an absolute must, right? Um, so I love Prosecco as a value, kind of driven, value oriented right. bottle of sparkling to bring. It's easy not to find. easy to find. I mean, you can find them at just about any grocery store, but um, you know, it is nice to kind of find one that's maybe a little bit not as well known uh, that way. <laughs> you know, that way you can be say cheap. Yes, don't be, don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. <laughs> uh, because it, you know, it's Prosecco is something that you can't. There are lots of it out there, mm -hmm. and why not? If you're really giving it as a gift, you know, take the time to go to a wine shop, seek out a good, you know, a, right. a nice bottle of Prosecco. Right, right. So uh, fortunately for us, we have a couple of bottles of really delicious sparkling wine. So uh, the first sparkling wine that I'm going to recommend for the holidays is this Trevi Soul uh, Extra Dry Prosecco. So this is um, made by our imported by a company called Small Vineyards. These guys deal with very small case production, so uh, very, you know, craft quality here. Um, so extra dry, meaning that it's going to be very. Uh, pretty dry, low amount of sugar to it, so more similar to like a true champagne would be. Um, so, you know, Prosecco, kind of nice, refreshing, really beautiful uh, kind of effervescence to it, has these nice kind of lemony qualities, um, very pretty bubbles to it, um, just cheers. <laughs> How could we forget to drink? I know. Um, but really beautiful Prosecco. Mm. You said it has a lemony, lemony note. I will typically find with Prosecco that it has kind of a, like a lemon curd kind of note to it. Mm -hmm. um, that's why it is very popular for brunches because it is kind of more that breakfast mm. sparkling style thing. So you do get, you get a little bit, you know, <laughs> that delicious? It's yeah. really delicious. <clears throat> um, you get a little bit more of that kind of brioche and yeah. a little bit of lemon curd. So it's perfect for if you are going to a holiday brunch, Prosecco is definitely. It has a lot of flavor. I, I feel like when I've had other dry champagnes, it's, it's pretty flat not much flavor to it. Absolutely. This is definitely more robust. And that's that's with these guys, that's the commitment to quality that you're going to get. Now, do you find that a wine like this is more palatable to more people? Like, do people generally like sweeter or, or more dry? I do find that Prosecco is a very palate-pleasing wine because it does have a little bit more fruit characteristic. Even though this is an extra dry, mm -hmm. uh, it still has a lot of abundance of fruit to it. Okay. So I do find that Prosecco is a very palate pleasing. So a good price point um, for these, I would say no more than $15 is what you should spend on a good bottle of Prosecco, really. I mean, you can go a little bit higher, you know, maybe maybe $17-ish, but mm -hmm. a good bottle of Prosecco should still be pretty inexpensive. It should yeah. be, you know, this is the value-oriented. Right kind of sparkling wine for people. And you can even buy two. If it's $15, you can buy right. one for the dinner and then one for them to have. Exactly. That is, that is. I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah. that's a great thing to do as yeah. well, to be it's able. It is thoughtful. It is very thoughtful. And so this is a beautiful bottle of rosé champagne. I find rosé champagne to be uh, a fantastic pairing for the holidays, particularly mm -hmm. with like turkey or anything like that because it does have the, you know, the way that most rosé champagnes are made is that it has a little bit of Pinot Noir in there. Okay. Um, so there is a touch of red wine. They actually blend the red with the white wine ah, in there. And that's how they uh, the get rose. the rosé champagne. That's not how all rosés are made, but that's how this one and, and a lot of them are made. Okay. Um, so this is made by A.R. Lenoble. Um, they're an uh, organic, sustainably... Um, driven champagne house. This is their rosé champagne. It's coming from Chewy. Very good price point. Um, this is, you know, going to retail for about $49.99, something like that. Okay. And I think that's a really, I think that's a pretty fair uh, kind of amount to expect to spend on champagne. For, for a gift. For a gift, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so for $49.99, you know, 
you should be getting something that's a very good quality. There is, there's a ton of delicious champagne out there, mm -hmm. uh, and, and at all different price points. I mean, right. fifty dollars is kind of the mid tier, okay. but they, you can also find things that are, you know, thirty-five dollars, thirty-eight dollars. You know, so there are some more value-driven uh, price points in champagne, and of course, okay. you can spend more money as well. But um, as you can see, beautiful pale rose rosé color here, so very light pink, kind of like a salmon color almost. Yes. Um, and on the nose, it's so pretty. You get much fuller um, kind of uh, fragrance and nose and bouquet from this wine. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prosecco is a delicious wine, uh, but you're going to be getting a lot more complexity with the champagne. Okay. So you kind of put me on to rosé mm -hmm. because I was drinking very cheap rosé. <laughs> Just go be honest. And it wasn't very good. Yes. This is very refreshing. It's very delicious, yeah. Rosé is for all times. Uh, and it, it's fantastic for the holiday table. It's a very versatile wine. Uh, and this one in particular is a fantastic food wine. This and turkey is going to sing beautifully. And so something that you, you know, for your close, when you're having the more intimate dinner parties. Right. Um, or you want to give the higher end gift. Right. If you're trying to impress, you're meeting the parents for the first time. Meeting the parents for the first time, <laughs> bringing a bottle of champagne is always a good idea. <laughs> Especially my parents. <laughs> so, when you go into the liquor store and mm -hmm. you're looking for a gift champagne, a true mm -hmm. champagne, mm -hmm. what are some things that people should, you know, let the person at the wine shop know? You can go in with a price point um, that is very helpful mm -hmm. um, because then they can just say, oh, okay, so let's work from right. there back. And to be honest, you know, price point is, it's a huge factor in it. Right. Uh, and then I also really like to ask for, um, like, grower-produced champagnes. Okay. So those are champagnes that are going to be um, small, family-owned and operated wineries um, that they actually grow the grapes. So there are lots of big-name champagne houses out there, but the grower-produced champagnes uh, oftentimes over-deliver uh, for the quality uh, and for the, the money. It's also, like... I don't want to say palate cleansing, but just fresh. You know, one of the things I like about starting with champagne first is that it's not, you know, hard on your mouth. Yes, it is. Like it's a, a hard liquor or like a wine. It's a very good palate cleanser, mm -hmm. um, and it's a good palate preparer for the rest of your for your, the rest of your meal as well. Mm -hmm. I actually like to start and finish with champagne because then it's you get this clean sweep off of your That's palate. That's why we're friends. Yeah. <laughs>